Flashback to a year ago. Hyena was lying on the ground, crying helplessly. Suddenly, a voice rang out, you bunch of cowards, do you really find it fun to bully someone weaker than you? Can't you think of something more creative to do? Isn't that right, hyena? The speaker continued with a smirk, hyena, did you know that the lethal dose of nicotine is much lower than cyanide? It means that the nicotine in this cigarette I'm smoking is more dangerous than cyanide. Weird, right? Even though I smoke a lot, I'm still perfectly healthy. Could it be that cyanide is just some cheap stuff? Another voice interrupted, what are you trying to say? The original speaker responded, what I'm saying is that comparing the toxicity of nicotine in cigarettes to chemical waste isn't exactly fair. When you inhale nicotine from smoking, you only absorb a tiny, slow dose. But what do you think happens if you ingest it? They leaned in closer to Hyena, grinning maliciously, come on, don't be so scared. Just because you smoke doesn't mean you'll die instantly. Nicotine has a mild effect. You just need to throw up before it gets to you, right? But of course, if you can't throw up, well, you die. At that moment, another voice chimed in, wow, she's talking like she knows everything. Getting into medical school must be tough, huh? Shut up, snapped the original speaker, irritated. You idiots are clueless. Hyena, you're so disgusted that you're willing to do dirty things like this, but there's a reason for that. Knowledge that's only learned in theory is useless, isn't it? So today, I'm going to conduct an experiment on a living subject, on you. They turned to another person in the group and ordered, Hey, Song Eun Jin, hold her still so she can't move. And shove this cigarette into her mouth. Song Eun Jin hesitated, do you really want me to do that? Are you kidding me? Don't you see everyone waiting for the show? Move it, or I'll shove it down your throat instead. Hyena, desperately trying to resist, pleaded with them to let her go. But her cries fell on deaf ears as her mouth was forced open. Moon Yi Jin, standing by and laughing, leaned in, saying, Hyena, open wide so I can shove this nicotine into your mouth. Present time. Chief Beak was briefing, Moon Yi Jin the second daughter of the director of Taiwan General Hospital, class president of the sixth grade. This child is the next target of Ga Ram. Yi Jin was the harshest bully to hyena, forcing her to eat harmful things like toilet paper, newspapers, and cigarettes. Though she's incredibly cruel, she hides it very carefully. It's said that she conducts her bullying discreetly, away from the eyes of other students, so until now, very few people knew about Moon Yi Jin's involvement in school violence. He continued, but to be accurate, Chief Beak, what she does isn't cautious, it's cowardly. Apologies, Chairman. I'll use more precise terms from now on. Since middle school, she's wanted to pursue a path in sports, but her father pushed her towards medicine, adding immense academic pressure. If we exploit this weakness, it could significantly aid our revenge. Since Ga Ram now has the authority to plan the revenge, we should first hear her thoughts. Ga Ram then chimed in, if it's this girl, I have a unique educational method I'd like to try. Father, do you give me permission? When they arrived at the classroom, Ga Ram was staring at Yi Jin, sitting there with a subtle smile on her face. Moon Yi Jin noticed this and thought angrily, it's already the fourth period. Damn it, what the hell is she planning during every break? Finally, Moon Yi Jin slammed her hand on the desk and said, if you have something to say, just say it. Stop making everyone so annoyed. But Ga Ram didn't respond just sat there smiling, which only infuriated Moon Yi Jin more. This bitch is pushing it, she thought. Ga Ram then spoke, class president, haven't you noticed? Right now, it's just the two of us in the classroom. Moon Yi Jin glanced around, realizing Ga Ram was right. She replied, everyone probably ran away because of your crazy antics, didn't they? Ga Ram feigned innocence, oh, class president, you're too harsh. It's lunchtime, so everyone's gone to eat. But you're not eating, class president? What do you want? Moon Yi Jin, still annoyed, demanded, what do you want? Ga Ram saw her question, paused for a moment and thought, then smiled and said, if you killed someone, could you just go back to reading a book right afterward? Moon Yi Jin frowned, what are you talking about? I've never killed anyone. Dun Jin just died on her own. So, do you consider suicide an indirect murder or a choice made out of free will? We could discuss this philosophical issue if you like. You're the class president, after all, but you talk like a wise philosopher, Ga Ram continued with a smirk. Moon Yi Jin stood up abruptly and snapped, think about it on your own. As she started to walk away, Ga Ram called after her, where are you going, class president? Stay and discuss it with me. You're preparing for your medical school interviews, aren't you? But Moon Yi Jin ignored her and left the classroom.
Garam, undeterred, whispered to herself, where's the class president going? Shouldn't you be preparing with Garam? Other students started whispering among themselves, is Garam stalking the class president? Every break after the fifth period, she just stares at her. Even during class, she doesn't take her eyes off her. Garam playfully called out, class president, if you only study, your eyesight will get worse. Garam is bored, come play with me. Moon Yi Jin, trying to ignore her, thought, just ignore her. But then Ga Ram picked up a pen and began doodling all over Moon Yi Jin's book. Furious, Moon Yi Jin snatched it back, yelling, you crazy bitch. What do you want? Ga Ram immediately started crying mockingly, I was just trying to help you so you wouldn't get tired, but why are you yelling at me? You're so mean, class president. What, let go of my book, you're pissing me off. Moon Yi Jin snapped, storming off. Ga Ram called out cheerfully, where are you going, class president? Let me go with you. Moon Yi Jin angrily muttered to herself, stop this crazy dog act already. Other students, watching the interaction, whispered, why is the class president always followed around by Ga Ram? I don't know, but look at how scary she looks when she's mad. Another student commented, a while later, somewhere in the school, Moon Yi Jin was angrily shouting, releasing her frustration by kicking something several times. Afterward, she stood there, panting heavily from the exertion, looking around anxiously. Did it not follow me all the way here? She thought, it's been tailing me the entire day. Damn it, because of it, I had to throw away my 80,000 won reference book. How can it open my locker so quietly, like a cat? Despite everything, she tried to console herself, thinking, maybe I should be thankful I didn't end up like Song Eun Jin. But then she quickly pushed that thought aside. No, no. What kind of twisted logic is that? This is just the beginning. It's going to slowly tighten its grip on me, and in the end, it will leave me in a state worse than Song Eun Jin's. Panic started to set in as she thought, I have to stop Yoon Ga Ram before she starts digging up my past. But how? The entire gang of Song Eun Jin was destroyed by just one person. How do I beat that monster? Just then, an idea struck her, and she smiled wickedly. Why am I complicating things? It's been a while since I've had some exercise anyway. Who's going to believe such ridiculous rumors? I used to be an athlete. What can those rumors do to me? A fight against Yoon Ga Ram, what nonsense. Three members of Song Eun Jin's gang together weigh almost twice as much as Ga Ram. Surely, with Lee Myung Jun backing her, his bodyguards must be protecting her, or maybe she hired some outside gang or mercenaries. They've spread these baseless rumors to elevate Yoon Ga Ram's status at school. Song Eun Jin can't deny them because she's being blackmailed. That's right, there's no need to overthink this. I just need to do what I did to Hyena. Use my strength to find her weakness, and then use Yoon Ga Ram to gather information on Lee Myung Jun, like a spy. At school, I'll use my power to re-educate that Yoon Ga Ram. I could have done this from the start. Among the high school girls in Korea, how many would be considered elite like me? The scene shifts to Lee Myung Jun speaking to Chief Bik. Chief Bik, I read that Moon Yi Jin once aspired to pursue a career in sports. What exactly was her field? Chief Bik responded, Mr. Vice Chairman, it was in the Taekwondo division, held in Korea last year. The Youth Taekwondo Championship, where the winner set an unprecedented record in the competition. She won gold across the board. If it weren't for the pressure of inheriting her family's large hospital, she would be the next national prodigy in the sport. Her most formidable weapon is the frightening power behind her kicks. Meanwhile, Moon Yi Jin continued to smile wickedly, thinking, just wait, Yoon Ga Ram. I'll take my time and break those legs of yours.